guys, it's the Gaming Ruby, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Disney Villains Challenge. Oh my gosh, who is calling? Dominic. Oh, oh my goodness. Dominic is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Oh my goodness. Aren't you a married man, sir? We're going to go here by ourselves with Gisela, or maybe we'll bring Anastasia with us. Hmm, which one of us can win his heart? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to hold off on the dog because I don't think any of those look anything like Bruno, to be honest. So we're going to have to see about that. But in the meantime, Dominic invited Gisela over his house, and I think he is a married man. She was complaining to Cinderella about her love life, so I think it's meant to be. So... <laughs> Hi, um, I see you've invited us over to your house. Let's enthuse about interests. And um, since you invited Gisela, let's see if we could, um, hmm, let's see if we could just like be a little romantic, hmm? Let's ask if he's single, which I think he's he's actually married. But uh, where's your family? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think this is his daughter. <gasps> and she's the same age. Oh my goodness, let's do a friendly introduction. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I think this is another daughter. Oh my goodness, where's the mom? <gasps> Did the mom leave him? Is that why? <gasps> Maybe he's lonely. Oh, we know he's rich because he has a huge house. Like, look at this house. Look at the size of this house. He has a huge house over here. Like, it looks super fancy. Look at all this property he has. My goodness, like, the entire block is just his house. Like, seriously. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, this guy is definitely rich. So, we want to win over his heart. I think that would be fantastic if we did that, huh? That might be a good idea. Let's see if she wants to earn 500 simoleons. We will go ahead and do that. All right, and let me have Anastasia also get to know his daughters as well. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, so I think we're gonna focus on Drizella for him. You know, she's chatting with Siobhan. Let's see if we could do a heartfelt compliment and get to know him a little bit. <gasps> what an achievement. Lady Tremaine just finished writing an entire book. Oh, oh my gosh, she finished writing the story story of Cinderella. How crazy is that? Anastasia is going through a phase. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this. Gisela learned that Dominic is married to Moira, but we don't know who she is. We don't see her anywhere around. So we have no idea where this Moira girl is. <gasps> is this you? You guys, she is right there. <gasps> She's right there. So we're going to try and be really, really close to him, right? And then where is she going? She's just leaving him. <laughs> Where is she going? I don't know. Oh my gosh. But how crazy would that be? Right in front of his daughters too. Like seriously. <gasps> oh my goodness. You guys. I don't know where his wife is going. But she totally just left him. Look. She's walking away. In the in the distance. Like in the forest. Where are you going ma'am? <laughs> seriously. Seriously. Okay you guys. So. I don't know. We might have a prospect here. We know he's married, but we could always just, you know, just like ruin their whole family, you know. We could always do that. Uh, she's just walking away from him. I don't think she loves him anymore, you guys. Seriously. She's just leaving her whole family behind here. My goodness. And you know what? This girl, she is technically like an evil soul as well. So I think she would mix well with Anastasia and Gisela. I think they would become the best of friends. You guys, we have the option to flirt already. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to try it. Let's see. Right in front of his daughter too. That might not be a good idea. But we're going to try it. Let's see. We're like friends. We're just friends, you guys. I don't think this is a good idea. Abort. I'm aborting. I don't want to ruin this. I do not want to ruin this for Drizzle right now. <gasps> they just became good friends. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think we're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting so close to ruining this family. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but I am. Look at this. So apparently the mother over here, she went down here to this little fishing area and look at this she was talking to another man so she's been cheating on her husband this whole time oh my goodness you guys seriously oh my goodness and and he's a married man too oh my gosh 
what in the world? Seriously, look, she was over here. She walked all the way down here and this is their house. So she's been cheating on him this whole time. And he, and then, and then she's cheating on him with another guy and he's cheating on her. Oh my goodness, seriously, you guys. I don't know what to think about this, but you know what? They are feeling very playful right now. They're gonna become really close so soon, like seriously. I'm just trying to see if she comes back home or if she's gonna leave again. Where is she going? Is she coming back home? Oh, she disappeared. Work starts in about an hour. We don't have much time. Okay, we need to go somewhere a little bit more private like this room. Let's go over here, huh? You know, away from your daughter. <laughs> so, you know, we could we could talk privately there. <gasps> no, he's leaving. Where is he going? <laughs> Where are you going, sir? Wait, don't leave us. Don't leave us. We were so close. <gasps> is he leaving? Is he going to work too? I think he's, he's running. <laughs> he has running away. You guys, we are so close with Gisela. I, yep, he went to work. He went to work and I think they're gonna go to work very soon as well. So you know what? I'm just gonna have them go to work. We're gonna go back to the Cinderella household and hopefully adopt Bruno. But I think Gisela is like so close, so close to being able to um, ruin this family's relationship. So yes, that is pretty crazy pretty crazy to see but uh, also kind of funny so we're gonna have them go to work and i will be right back with you guys i don't know what kind of work outfit this is but apparently that's her outfit anyways let's check up on cinderella cinderella is on the forums i don't know why did you do homework she did her homework do you have extra credit homework no she doesn't eat your cereal girl are you like hungry no she's not okay never mind um lady tremaine is in the pool apparently so that's a thing I like it's best if you don't go in the pool seriously oh, look at this you guys she wrote the book of Cinderella oh, and there's a lady that was cheating on her husband oh my goodness you guys we could read Cinderella to Cinderella <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, but she could self-publish this now, I believe. So let's try to do that, shall we? Let's go over here. So write, write, can she self-publish? I, I think that was an option and I'm not sure how to do that now. How crazy is this? We could actually sell Lucifer. <gasps> what do you guys think about this? Hold on. What if Lady Tremaine just adopts like a bunch of like little pets, like little puppies and kittens and stuff, and then she sells them for profit? She has her own like breeding thing. I don't know, her own breeding business. Let me know what you guys think about that. Oh my goodness. Oh, Cinderella, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, did you not learn the first time? Are you serious right now? Wow, we're gonna give her a timeout for that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wow, you are being crazy. She's being so crazy. We're gonna yell at her for making a mess and we're gonna give her a timeout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This girl is going crazy right now. We're gonna force her to clean it up. <laughs> force her to clean up the mess. Go. You need to do the mess. You need to clean it up right now. You guys, what is going on with this girl? Seriously, she's going crazy. We need to read some books. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Yeah, in the meantime, we're gonna have Gisela and Anastasia work really hard at their jobs. And so let's see here. How is little Lucifer doing? He is, he's doing all right, you know, he's doing all right. When she is done reading her books, we're gonna see if we could adopt the dog finally. So household adopt and adopt a dog, here we go. Okay, so the only big dog that we saw was Rook, but Rook is actually really not, not ideal, but we could always change him and create a sim. So I think that is what we are gonna go ahead and do. We are gonna adopt Rook over here. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and change her outfit first of all, ma'am. Uh, I think you should change out of that outfit. Oh, oh, she's here already. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no. He's going up the stairs, causing a huge mess everywhere. She's like, here you go. Who is this? Um, who are you, ma'am? Who are you? <gasps> are you sure you want to adopt this pet? I guess. I don't know. Who is this? <gasps> Hoda? Hi, Hoda. How are you? Um, okay, so this is going to be Bruno. Tremaine. Alrighty, you guys. We adopted the dog. Who are you? <laughs> this random lady showed up out of nowhere. <gasps> okay, we adopted the crazy pet. Oh my goodness, seriously. <gasps> 
for Cinderella. Cinderella is playing some chess right now, but um, Rania is leaving. Okay, thanks. Let's uh, get to know our new pet. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, he wants to play some fetch. Maybe we could go ahead and do that. Cinderella, can you clean this up? We have guests in the house and we have a mess around here. Absolutely not. You gotta stop playing your chess, girl. He wants to play fetch, though. So we need to get some stuff for the dog now. We need to get another pet bowl for the doggy. I think what we'll do is we're gonna get rid of all of this just so that we have more space because right now it's just not working out for us, okay? So we'll put this and this over here like so. I think what we'll do is get rid of this and then we'll put another dog bowl over here for little Bruno. He does need a sleeping station and so does Lucifer actually. Let's get a mouse squeaker for Bruno. So we'll get that. Some pet toys. Here we go. We'll put that right there. Maybe a cat dazzler. We'll go ahead and get that. So we'll put that right there. Okay, I guess this is the one. <laughs> I was getting confused because I thought there was a smaller one and then a bigger one, but apparently not. So for Bruno, let's see. Nope, that has cats on it. Absolutely not. Um, let me go ahead and actually put this where this sofa is because we don't need the sofa. So we can go ahead and get rid of that there. All right, I think that'll work. We'll just put it like that and I think we will be good to go. I think that is everything we need. So yeah, all right. So hopefully now everybody will be good to go. Oh no, I didn't get a bed for the little kitty. Oh no, <laughs> my bad. Okay, I'll just put the kitty bed right there. Okay, now we should be good to go. My goodness, seriously. Everybody came back home. <gasps> he already got it, the little mouse. Oh my gosh, speaking of mice, we have mice in here. Oh, the mice are still around. I wonder if the cat can go ahead and get it. Oh, oh my goodness, wait. Oh my goodness, watch the mice. Oh my gosh, gonna be watching the mice. Okay, the girls have come back home with their horrible looking outfits, but that's besides the point. Where is this kitty? Seriously, why are you being so slow? Seriously, being so lazy? Why don't you groom yourself? Because you're so boring. And then you could go ahead and lie in there and go to sleep. Look, look at all the mice and you're going so slow. Seriously, are you not gonna do anything about the mice? Wow, <laughs> okay. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and modify Bruno and create a sim. Okay, so like I said, I already know that Bruno is a bloodhound. All right, here we go. And that's the only color. So we're gonna have to change the color up a little bit. Oh, they have different colors. Oh, I think this one is pretty perfect. What do you guys think? I think so. Hmm, no, that's a little too dark. I think this one's perfect. Yeah, but he looks so sad. <laughs> oh, let's make his eyes a little bit brighter. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Let me change his his uh his his mouth here. It's just a little bit too sad for me. I guess we'll stick with that. Oh poor thing. So here is Bruno. He looks like he's trying to smile so badly. All right. So for traits, we have Saluth. He is curious. He is. Let's see. I think he would be a hunter. Yes. <laughs> he's gonna be a hunter. And what else? I think we'll make him adventurous as well. Yes, okay, so he is a Saluth, so he is naturally more curious about things. He is a hunter, so he's gonna go out hunting for things, and he is adventurous, so that is Bruno. Let's go back, and he is an adult as well, so now let's go back into the game. All right, we had a sim stay awake for 24 straight sim hours, I don't know how, <gasps> and the radio is broken, oh no, but let's check up on Bruno. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how can you are you? Yay, let's play. Let's play calmingly. Oh, the poor thing. Alrighty, Lucifer is watching the mice now. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, Lucifer, Lucifer, the mice are in the house. <gasps> are you not doing anything? I don't think he can do anything. He's just rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness already so we have the birthday cake you guys we have the birthday cake everybody is super tired right now but i think it is time everybody's got to sit their little booties down because we need to go ahead and celebrate or try to anyway celebrate poor little cinderella's birthday oh little cinderella's just having the time of her life playing with bruno 
They are so adorable. Look how cute they are, you guys. I'm trying to have everybody sit down and just relax, but you know, little Lucifer is sleeping where he should be. I was kind of afraid that Lucifer would take this bed, but luckily he didn't. He he went straight to his proper bed. So Bruno can go ahead and have his proper bed as well. Yay, everybody is sitting down except for Lady Trobe. What is she doing? We don't have time for that right now. Go ahead and sit down. We we need to celebrate. We need to celebrate right this instant. No no don't 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 do anything crazy just sit down just sit down why do they get up when i tell them to sit down my goodness all of you need to sit down right this instant they love hugging each other i've noticed i've noticed that they love hugging each other cinderella what do you think you're doing sit your little booty down sit your little booty right down there we go okay she does not look happy about this <laughs> Anyways, we are gonna have Cinderella blow out the candles. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is our last moment with Cinderella. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, the poor thing. Look at her horrible family. See, okay, that's a little scary. Look at her horrible, <laughs> rude family. And then poor little Cinderella is just here, just super happy. No, Cinderella, where are you going? Oh my goodness, seriously, seriously? girl blew out the candles oh my gosh why are you walking away <laughs> yay school is stupid we don't have time for that oh my gosh you're gonna make me miss cinderella's birthday you're really gonna make me do this seriously i just wanted to observe cinderella's birthday you know in peace and relaxation here we go she's gonna age up oh oh whoa you guys <laughs> what 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 whoa here she is oh, she looks so pretty she has aged up you guys what should she be should she be an animal should she be friends of the animals i think that would be perfect and she is a geek we can't change that just yet but i think she would be a geek and maybe she would be like really friendly i think that would be pretty perfect for her should we make her a dog lover because she you know she does love bruno and everything but she also loves the mice she loves all kinds of animals well for right now i'm gonna make her a dog lover <gasps> it's official <gasps> oh my gosh she's so pretty <gasps> Look at her! Oh my goodness, you guys! Oh, she is gorgeous! She is gorgeous! Now we need to go and create a scent and give her a little bit of a makeover. Alrighty, you guys, so here is Cinderella. She is officially a teenager. Okay, the first thing we need to do is definitely change her outfit, but do you think she would wear like a super fancy dress or do you think she would be more casual? Hmm? Let me know what you guys think. So I think this is the outfit I'm gonna go for Cinderella's everyday wear. It's kind of casual, but still kind of cute at the same time. I gave her some accessories over here, this lovely little necklace, and then here is her nice natural beauty makeup. She looks absolutely gorgeous, and I love this hair on her as well. So this is going to be her everyday wear for now. Um, maybe we'll add some other everyday outfits if you guys would like for me to do so. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly run down all of these other outfits, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, you guys, so here are all of Cinderella's outfits. So as I said, this is her everyday outfit for now. Now let's go ahead and move on to her formal wear. So she was already wearing this dress. So I decided to just change the color up a little bit and I gave her these little wedge heels. I think that looks really adorable and classy. And here is her athletic wear. Again, I'm going for like a blue theme. So that is basically what all her outfits are going to look like. Her sleepwear wear is pretty similar as well. Here is her party wear, which I thought was super adorable. I gave her this little kitten, little kitten shoes because I thought they were super cute. And then I have like, there's like polka dots here. So I have the polka dot stockings as well. So I think that looks pretty nice. And then her swimwear is pretty basic as well. So there is the new and improved Cinderella. Let's go ahead and go back in the game and uh, we're gonna have to create Prince Charming as well. Alrighty, you guys. <gasps> Here she is, the new and improved Cinderella, looking absolutely beautiful right now. Oh my goodness, you guys. School is stupid. Why do they always say that? Absolutely not. Look at little Bruno. Oh, 
Why? Let's pet little Bruno. Oh, no, no, no. I want Cinderella to pet little Bruno. How cute are you? Let's praise him and play with him. Seriously. Anastasia, why don't you spend some time with Lucifer? Seriously. He needs to get some uh, attention in his life as well. And uh, Lady Tremaine needs to read some books so she can go ahead and read something. She's almost done with that for her daily task for work. And Cinderella needs to do her homework. But right now, I just want to spend some time with little Bruno. Aw, poor Cinderella. <gasps> they can go on an adventure together. Yes, that sounds amazing. Let's do that. That sounds amazing right now. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. She wants to be friendly with the animals 12 times. So we'll definitely be doing that very soon. But I think it is time for Cinderella to meet Prince Charming, which I think we will do in the next episode. That will be fantastic. They're gonna go on an adventure together and I wanna see what that looks like. So let's go ahead, let's get out of here. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, wait, she just left. <laughs> She just left. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? We're going to have to change her bed and all that stuff too, you guys. All right. Did you guys do your homework? Because yes. Okay, good. Did you do your homework? Yes, you did. Okay, good. So they're going to have a work in about 15 hours. But in the meantime, I think it is time for us to go into Manage Worlds. Yes, we're going to go to Manage Worlds and we are going to create Prince Charming. He's got to live in a castle. Oh, so we're going to have to look for a castle or something. I don't know what to do right now. Okay, so I am not going to have him live in this area. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have him live with the fairy godmother. Where did I put her? I don't remember. I think I put the fairy godmother in. Oh my goodness. I keep clicking that. <gasps> they move the world around. Okay, we have to go over here to Windenburg because I believe that is where I have the fairy godmother, don't I? Yes, I do. So for right now, I'm going to have the Prince Charming live with her. So we're going to edit. And I think what we will do is we're going to go ahead and just go into this gallery area here. Let's see. Let's look up Prince Charming. Let's see if there's anything good around here. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Oh, he looks super handsome. This, what is this for? Just a random Prince Charming? Sounds great. He looks fantastic. I think we'll go with it. He's a teenager as well. Perfect. He is romantic and he is outgoing. You guys, we're going to add him on in here. Whoa, he is super buff. <laughs> I don't know if I want him to be that buff, you know, that's not really realistic and everything. You know, oh wow, he's got a little bit of a booty back there. Okay, we're gonna just to change him a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, uh, first of all, I personally don't like these eyebrows, so I'm gonna change them. Okay, so whoever made this made some of the outfits a little strangely, I'm not gonna lie, but I think we are good to go now. So, so here's his everyday wear. Again, he is outgoing and he is romantic. Oh my goodness, here is his formal wear that they gave him. I changed his athletic wear because like I said, it's a little crazy and they like to not put shirts on, but um, we're gonna wear some shirts. Okay, so here is his sleep wear, here is his party wear, and here is his swim wear. So I think we are pretty good to go. He is officially going to live with the fairy godmother. They are just gonna be roommates. I don't wanna make him like a mother or anything like that. We're just gonna make him roommates and stuff like that. And I think we are good. We officially have Prince Charming in the game. So hopefully soon, maybe Cinderella will meet Prince Charming while at school or something like that. And uh, he'll win over her heart. Or maybe the fairy godmother will come and save the day and help her because she might, um, you know, they might have a school ball or something like a school dance or something. I don't know why I keep clicking on this world. Seriously, let's go back to our original world where Cinderella and the evil stepsisters and Lady Tremaine live. So yes, maybe in another episode, maybe in the next episode, we will have a future ball, like a dance or whatever for the school and Drizella and Anastasia will uh, try to win over the Prince Charming's heart and then Lady Tremaine might lock her up in her room. <gasps> Poor Cinderella, she's gonna get locked up and then maybe the fairy godmother will help her, help her escape and then meet Prince Charming. <gasps> what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new bed for Cinderella. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.